up ladies and gents today's video how to lucid dream in under five minutes so this is actually going to be a video in which i teach you how to lucid dream in the most basic fundamental steps that i know how to explain okay this is not going to be a technique this is just going to be like the fundamentals of what you need to know in order to lucid dream in under five minutes so it's like a five minute lesson not a five minute technique okay so step one before you even think about lucid dreaming, you need to be able to remember the dreams you do have. That's the first and most important step. So the best way of doing this is to start writing your dreams down every morning in a diary. You don't have to write down every detail, you just have to write down something. And that's the key here. Keep a diary by your bed, write down whatever you can remember in the morning, and highlight the important bits. Do this for a month solid, until you can remember at least one vivid dream every night. So the best way of doing that is literally just to get a notepad and start writing in it. That's step one. Step two is you need to do what's known as reality checks. So this is where you test your reality. The most basic reality check you can do, and probably the most effective as well, is where you try to push a finger on one hand through the palm of your other hand. The reason you do this, okay, the reason it works, is because in waking life this will never go through. You'll never be able to push your finger through your palm. It just doesn't go through, right? Whereas in a dream, whatever you expect to happen will happen. So if you expect, and you're in a dream, if you expect to push your finger through your hand and, it, and you expect it to go through, it's going to go through. And you're going to be able to say, oh, look, my finger's gone through my palm, I must be dreaming. And then hence you become lucid and away you go. So what you do is you take that as your reality check, pushing the finger through the palm, that's your reality check. You do that 20 times a day every day without fail. Okay, and each time you do it, you need to ask yourself, am I dreaming? So don't just do it and think, oh, okay, I'm trying to push my finger through my hand, whatever. You need to actually think, I expect my finger to go through my palm. And only when it doesn't, only when you feel that resistance, that feeling you get when you try and push it through and it doesn't go, even though you expect it to go through, only when it doesn't go through do you say, oh, okay, well, I must be awake then. This is not a dream. <clears throat> but until that point, assume that you're in a dream. And what's going to happen is after a while, you're going to be walking around your dream as you normally would. And suddenly you'll find yourself doing that reality check in a dream. And what will happen is your finger will go through and you'll think, oh, wow, it actually went through. So I must be dreaming. You become lucid. That's how reality checks work. The key with, with reality checks is expectation. You need to really believe that what you're trying to do, in this case, the finger through the hand, will happen. Do that every time. Lots of people do reality checks and they don't do that. That's why they fail. So, <clears throat> just take a little breather. I've had a bit of a cold today, so excuse my voice. Step three, you're gonna meditate every morning and every evening. The reason you're gonna meditate is because you need to be able to be more aware of yourself and of your surroundings. Most of us walk through life on autopilot. We're not really aware and concentrating on the things around us. We just focus on what we're trying to do get to work, make a, make a meal, talk to someone, without being aware of everything around you, the sounds, the sights, everything, literally, that is just filtered out by your, your subconscious mind, you need to start being more aware of that. And you also need to start being more aware of your thoughts, feelings, and what's going on in your mind, as well as your body, and as well as everywhere around you. The easiest way of doing that is just to start meditating. I'm not going to explain how to meditate, because I have other videos for that, and this is a five-minute tutorial on how to lose dream. So, Start meditating 10 minutes a day in the morning and 10 minutes a day in the evening. 20 minutes a day total. It's worth it, trust me. Step four, you're going to start doing reality checks as soon as you wake up. <coughs> now, the reason you do reality checks as soon as you wake up is because during the morning, you're very likely to get what's called a false awakening, which is where you dream about waking up when you not actually have woken up. You haven't actually woken up. This is a very common time where you need to do reality checks because it's very likely to give you a lucid dream. And that's it. Four steps. Go and do those and you will have a lucid dream. Guaranteed. If you've liked this video, please subscribe and leave it a like. If you also have a question for me, leave a comment because I try and read them all, I try and reply to them all, I try and make videos to answer your questions. Uh, also, if you haven't already, check out my website howtolucid.com and I will see you next time.